Um, someone's asking, how long can I run E85 until my fuel lines and mechanical com components corrode? I mean, I don't believe they will. Yeah. I mean, we have no, we have no, we have no data to indicate that there's been any issues with any modern vehicles in a very long no. time. We've we've not seen any issues like that on any of our vehicles or any of our test stuff or any of our customers we've ever heard. I mean, uh, there's the, the basis of the question assumes that the fuel systems will corrode and. We don't, we don't have evidence of that. But typically, the factory fuel systems, uh, most of the components are either, you know, some type of nylon or plastic, which is all, which is very fuel resistant, yep. or stainless steel. And you see stainless steel all throughout the fuel system. Rarely do you see like raw machined billet aluminum, which is more of an issue in the aftermarket. So when it comes to E85 compatibility, this is really more of an aftermarket problem. Uh, if you, if you get like, you know, just a, some guy in his shop is machining up billet aluminum fuel rails or using extruded fuel rail stock. You know, even then, the amount of corrosion you'd get, in, you know, on raw billet would be pretty minimal. But that's when you would see some type of corrosion. But again, we've never seen a factory fuel system that corroded. If you if you want to go online and look around and find a Volkswagen or Audi that has that fuel system corrosion from running E85, please send it our way. Uh, no, no concerns with injectors. Injectors are extremely fuel resistant. I mean, uh, it depends again, just as much as what fuel you're running through it. You know, gasoline wise, as to what contaminants and or buildup you can get on injectors. That's not a corrosion, but you can get some buildup. Like we're just right. exactly what we were talking about this earlier with deposits and things. I, I think E85 is does have more deposits yeah, than I, than fuel, and it's it's less it has less of a solvent effect or action than gasoline uh, and you don't see people like in in shops cleaning parts with the 85 yeah. <laughs> so that's a, that's a good point and it is the thing gasoline is an extremely good if song. you want to clean something you put in a gasoline and it's fucking clean yeah uh, it I, stinks, I mean but just give it a try in your shop sometimes <laughs> but um there, there are issues with e85 and deposits and gumming up now yeah. that does not mean that these injectors are not e85 compatible or that they're corroded something. No. It's, it's it's a it's a completely different uh, effect. Yeah. So I, it's just it's you. Uh, I'd love to challenge everyone out there to think critically. You know. So when you hear someone say something, take all the elements that created that thought and try to break them up and see. Okay. Well, some there is some failure mode with injectors. Someone is saying that it's that the injector wasn't E eighty five compatible. Well, what does that mean? Why isn't it E85? Oh, the inj injector is stuck. Well, is it stuck because of gumming and deposits? Okay, well, that's not an E85 compatibility issue. That's an issue with uh, E85's uh, propensity to, to, to deposit and gum up. Uh, there is no such thing as an E85 uh, non-gumming injector. It doesn't exist, right? So all injectors are E85 compatible, but there's a gumming issue. So, you know, you just really need to break this stuff down. There's just so much sloppy thinking on the internet and it's just, it just runs rampant <clears throat> and just be a little skeptical every time you hear something, you know, ask some questions and you know, just, just try to push back a little bit when you hear, when you hear this. Stuff. 